Hi everybody, it's Gina Bell from East Coast Mummy and today I'm sharing some fantastic DIY wreaths that you can make for Easter. You're gonna like these. I found these wooden bunny ornaments at my local Dollarama and they came in a box 50 for $4 and I knew they'd be perfect for a wide variety of crafting projects. The little bunnies came with a hole in the ear and I didn't want that for this project. So I used a little nail hole filler to fill in the hole and then I used a little sander to smooth it out. Next I grabbed some white chalk paint. You could use regular craft paint too but I like the coverage of the craft paint so I only had to do one coat. I only ended up using nine bunnies for my wreath but I painted a few extra because I wasn't sure how many I needed and I know I can use them for future projects. Next, I grabbed this wreath form from my craft stash, but the dollar store has tons of inexpensive options. I also grabbed this jute rope from the dollar store. It was $5 for a big package of it and it ended up covering my entire wreath. I took my glue gun and I attached the end of the rope to the wreath and then I just wrapped it around and around securing periodically with glue until the whole thing was covered. Because the rope I used didn't have much give and was pretty thick, I ended up with a little bit of overlap at the top of the wreath but I wasn't too worried because I can just cover this with a bow. I'm not a pro bow maker, but I had this pretty gingham ribbon in my stash and I wanted to use it for this wreath, so I gave it a try. I cut a few pieces of ribbon, kind of folded them over into little loops. I used a piece of twine to secure it all together and a bit of the ribbon to cover the twine. Then I just kind of played with it until it resembled the shape of the bow that I wanted and I used some hot glue to attach it to the wreath. I cut little V's in the ends of the bow and then it was time to add my bunnies. I played around a bit with the placement of the bunnies. I tried them with the ears facing in and the ears facing out. I looked at them kind of touching each other and with a little space in between. And once I was happy with how it looked, I started using some hot glue to place them on the wreath. Next, I added a little gingham bows to the necks of the bunnies. I bought these little pre-made bows and had them in my craft stash, but you could also just tie little bows in ribbon and use those. I thought I might leave the wreath like this, but at the last minute I found these little pom-poms at the dollar store and I thought they'd be super cute on the bunnies as little tails. So I used hot glue to add pom-poms to the bunnies and I was done. I actually considered adding little pink tails to add a bit of color to the wreath but in the end I went with white and I think I really like the neutral palette. Let me know in the comments what do you think? Next up is a neutral colored wreath with a pop of pink. You start with one of these Easter egg wreath forms from Dollarama. You'll also need some sort of sign. I found these arrows for Valentine's Day and I thought I'd repurpose them, but you could just use a plain rectangle sign too. 
You'll also need some sort of macrame cord or yarn or twine. You're going to want it thick so that it won't take forever to do. I wrapped it around and around, securing it periodically with hot glue until the whole thing was covered. Grab whatever you're going to be using for a sign. If it has a hanger, remove it and then grab some paint to cover over any words. I just used this dollar store pink craft paint and painted a couple coats over until I couldn't see the words anymore. Next, I grabbed a little wooden bunny ornament from Dollarama. I initially painted it a turquoise color and then I didn't love it, so I repainted it white. Next, I kind of laid out all my supplies, how I thought I would like them, and I used my Cricut to print out a decal that said Bunny Trail. If you don't have a Cricut, you could always use a paint marker or paint, but I have a Cricut, so that's what I used. I applied the decal to the board, and then I used hot glue to attach the bunny to the sign, and also a little gingham bow. finish it off I use some hot glue to attach the sign to the Easter egg and put a little bit of ribbon at the top to hang it and that was it isn't this a gorgeous Easter wreath I think it fits with a lot of different decor and it looks really high-end let me know in the comments what do you think and if you like this video so far please give it a big thumbs up to make a bunny wreath, you'll need a wire wreath form and a bunny ear headband. You'll also need some zip ties to securely attach the headband to the wreath form and you'll need some yarn. I found this loop it yarn along with all my other supplies at my local Dollarama, but I haven't seen this yarn at my store lately. If you can't find this yarn, any yarn will work. I just advise that you find something that's pretty thick because the thicker it is, the shorter amount of time it will take to wrap it around the wreath form and get full coverage. I just secured the yarn to the wreath form by tying it, but if you feel like you need a little extra hold, you can always use hot glue. And here's how my bunny wreath turned out. You can leave it plain or you can add little felt bunny feet like I did. Let me know. What do you think about this one? Another easy option is to use hot glue to attach dollar store plastic eggs to a wreath form. I think this is so cute and bright and cheerful. This burlap bunny is another adorable option. You just take some embroidery hoops, insert some burlap, and add some embellishments. I'll leave a link in the description below to the full tutorial for this bunny. Let me know in the comments which was your favorite of the five DIY Easter wreaths that I shared with you today. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Really helps my channel. And hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to be notified of future videos. Talk to you next time. Bye.